Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Friday, May the 5th. We made it to Friday in the first week of May. Let's have an amazing Friday as we move forward. As we've been talking about having courage, standing up for what is right, making the best choices and standing and believing in things that you know that's going to move you forward, okay? Having the courage to say no when you know that you shouldn't be doing something. So that is what we're focused on is courage. Shout out to the staff and students yesterday. Coach planned an opportunity for you guys to go to the Tigers game. I know it wasn't what everybody expected, but it seems like everyone had a great time. Um, and that was a good opportunity for us to do a community activity where we got together and got outside the building. Shout out to the staff that was here and students that were holding it down. All right, teaching staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. Students, I can try and work hard to grow every day. All right, all right. Today for lunch, you'll have um, beef chili hot dogs with potato wedges, applesauce. All right, MMA, maintain respect, make good choices, and be safe. We are all focusing on different things, but in the lunchroom and in the classroom, I need everybody to take a deep breath. I know you're getting anxious. That means your body's busy, but you got to have some self-control in those areas. We're still in school and we're still learning. We have about 30 some days left and we all need to be focused. We still have lots to learn before the end of school year. All right. So today the Mustang cart will be by. We have to upload the Mustang cart. So what you'll see is some candy treats and a couple other things. Um, but we will be by today for you that have Mustang bucks. All right, yearbook. It's Friday, which is today's the last day to buy your yearbook. Again, thank you for those who attended the Tiger activity. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Keep your composure together. That means all student staff and even parents, let's breathe it in and out. Sometimes when things happen and things don't go our way and we don't understand something, we get triggered and it may it remind us of an experience or maybe there's people that's sick in our life or maybe a situation at home is not right. And we take all that anxiety and frustration and anger out on the people around us. Well, it's not OK. You have to breathe and ask for help. And I'm not just speaking to my students. I'm speaking to parents and staff and myself. Sometimes it's so easy to say, oh, this is not working or go straight to the negative mindset. We have to breathe and shift our mind to focus on. What is the purpose of this? What should I learn from this experience? Because it's easy to go negative. It's easy to go into like a, almost like a very dark area in your, in your head. But we don't want that. We want to keep our composure. We want to make sure that we can believe in anything in a life situation. We can overcome it. But if you always thinking about, well, why is it like this? Why are they doing this? Who did that? I don't like that. Then it's hard for you to have a different mindset, a positive mindset. All right. So it's a power of perception. What do you believe? What should you learn out of this? What gets you through those tough times? You have to learn how to shift your mind in circumstances that you may not always agree with. All right. Let's do it now. Shift your mind. Take a deep breath in. Keep your composure. Use your words. Ask for help. Because nothing is ever as bad as what it seems. There's always opportunities and ways to get out of situations and work together. All right. We're in this together. Make sure you use your big voice. Let people know I don't like it when you do that. You, your friends, you're the only one that can change your choices. Show empathy. Show people that you care. Show people that you're there for them by showing kindness to them, helping them out. That is what we do here at MMA. Power of love, seeing the best in others when they cannot see it in themselves. Consequences, mistakes are opportunities to learn. So it's good if you make a mistake, okay? And if you have a mistake, you take responsibility. Hey, I messed that up. I'm sorry. How can I move forward? Again, take a deep breath in and out and work through it. Happy birthday to these students this week. We hope you have an amazing day. I expect that you all have an amazing day. Happy, happy Friday. Um, let's get it. We only got a couple more weeks left, so let's just keep focusing. We still have MSTEP a couple days next week, and I know we're working on iReady. As a reminder, teachers, we want to have that done by Monday at the level. You should be working on that. That's going to be good information as we prepare ourselves to get ready for the NWA. All of us 
have to take the NWA. And so we want you all to get prepared for that in the middle of May. All right. And we'll have more information about that next week. All right, everybody. Bye bye.